So now we're going to try to create this C100 Z Finder recoil. And in this particular kit, we're going to use two parts. We're going to use the VCT base plate and we're going to use the C100 Z Finder. This essentially is pretty much a tripod kit. It's not going to allow you to have an EVF, but we're going to show you that in the next kit. This is a C100 Z Finder mounting bracket, and this is a huge improvement over what we had before. So now we've added the capability of mounting things to the top of this handle, yes. along with having this arm that really supports the Z Finder properly. Some of the guys at IBC had mentioned that they sometimes want to take their handle off if they put their camera into their backpack. Yeah. So Jens changed the design up here where he made it so that you can pop this off. So now, boom, it can go into your case. Okay. And the VCT option is really nice because you can just pop this off, pop the rods off, you know, to make it go in your bag real quick like this. Mm -hmm. And we essentially tore this camera package down pretty quickly in your bag, all the parts. No tools. Now we're going to look at the C100 EVF recoil. This is the part we had on earlier. What we're going to need now is this extension. On this camera, we're kind of married to their handle because of the XLR and all the audio gear. So we decided it'd be best to make like a little top cage up here. And by doing that, we've created this rod clamp that we would normally do with our own handle. We're going to use the grip relocator. So is it comfortable? Yes. You could hold that all day. Yeah, if the weight is sanded on my shoulder. That's pretty rock solid there. Yep. So now, now not only is it all balanced, yep. you're nice and short and compact. Yep. You don't have to let go of anything. Stop, you're there. Stop. No, it's a dream. It's a dream kit for a documentary camera. So it doesn't get any lighter.